Carlo Bazzotti, who is on the phone from Milan. Carlo Bazzotti, thanks for joining us. Can these growth rates be sustained? Well, I think uh, uh, this, this level of growth rate uh, uh, is, uh, I would say, is not sustainable. <laughs> uh, we, we grew 17% uh, uh, in the first half. Uh, um, on our core business, not including the joint venture that we have with the Ericsson Group, the ST Ericsson, that is focusing on the wireless uh, products. Uh, still, I believe we are, uh, uh, and we will uh, uh, outperform the, ma the market in terms of uh, top-line uh, evolution. Yes, but you say you, you've got to be uh, outperforming there, but surely, and you're looking ahead to quarter three, net revenues are going to be way down, uh, gross margins are going to be how to put it bluntly, tightly squeezed. Yeah, well, uh, we gave a guidance in terms of uh, uh, revenues is plus two minus five. So in, indeed there is a correction. And, uh, and this is mostly re uh, related to the performance uh, that we have with one, one of our uh, major customers in the wireless field. Uh, this is really impacting us and uh, uh, um, uh, is impacting, in fact, also the loading of our fabs. And this is a correction that we are taking in the course of the third quarter. Is de definitely uh, non-recurrent and uh, is, uh, is a, a correction that we have in our fabs. So we are reducing loading to take into consideration the reduced demand uh, and also a uh, much weaker outlook from our major wireless customer. The rest is pretty strong and, and solid. Now, in June, you received a, a, a settlement from Credit Suisse. It marked the end of a, a litigation, some $350 million. Anything you're going to do with that money? Are you looking at acquisitions, possibly? Uh, not at the very moment. I think today the focus is really to turn around our wireless joint venture, that is uh, uh, the, the remaining uh, you know, block of our portfolio to fix. I think this is today is an intense R&D effort. Uh, we are uh, investing uh, in two because, of, as, as I said, it's a 50-50 uh, configuration with the Ericsson Group, about $1 billion in, uh, in R&D per year. And uh, we want to turn around this business. We are in transition from legacy products through, through new platform, platforms and new products, and we are confident with the tractions that we see at many customers uh, that this business will turn around. But so take some time. So the focus is, is on this. Uh, yes, and is it focused really on boosting those product lines? You've got new products in the pipeline, yes? Absolutely, and we are focusing on four major uh, application areas. Uh, one is uh, uh, energy uh, management and energy saving. This is, of course, a very important uh, part of our uh, business and this is an important priority. The second one is on healthcare products. The third is on trust and data security products. And the, and the fourth one is on the smart consumer devices. So these are the main drivers in terms of new applications and new products. Now, talking of smart applications, Nokia is one of your biggest customers. We know they've had all sorts of problems. Do the problems at Nokia, your biggest customer, keep you awake at night? Well, I, this is, uh, you know, the, 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 the challenge is this. I mean, we are, if, uh, uh, of course, the challenge is uh, the expansion of the customer base in wireless, and, uh, and it is happening now. I think, uh, of course, we need to absorb uh, uh, some glitch at, uh, glitches at our major wireless customer, and uh, uh, we are doing in the course of Q3, uh, particularly in terms of uh, fab loading, uh, but we are confident that with all of these new products in ST Ericsson, the joint venture on wireless, uh, we see more, tractions at, uh, more traction at a number of customers, at a much wider number of customers, in fact. Well, but the correction is being taken in Q3, and uh, uh, the correction on loading, of course, has, a, 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 let's say, a, a material effect on the, on, the, on, the, on the manufacturing cost and on the gross margin in the course of the third quarter. Now, what's your time frame for your work with uh, Nokia and Microsoft on uh, Windows phones? How are you getting this on very, there? This is very specific, and I would not comment. Also, you know, we are the shareholder here, and uh, you need to talk to S.T. Ericsson. <laughs> 
And Carlo, just to give us a, a, a final outcome about how you think the, the, the uh, business that you're in really is faring at the moment, given the difficult times in Europe and in America too. Yeah, well, I think uh, our 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 business, the semiconductor business, is uh, we are uh, you know used to important cycles. Um, uh, the the, uh, the recovery from the 2009 crisis was very strong, and in fact, uh, in our uh, core business uh, last year, we grew 38 percent. So it was a very very strong. Uh, Recovery. Uh, I think we are now going back to a, a more, you know, historical uh, trend in terms of uh, growth. Of course, semiconductor and uh, remains very pervasive in the electronics in the industry. Uh, so th this year, uh, we expect the market uh, uh, will grow uh, between uh, zero to five percent, uh, but still some growth, and uh, and uh, and we expect some normalization now. Um, uh, of, okay. of course, uh, of course, there is a, there is a strong decline compared to last year growth. Still, uh, the, the, there is growth here. Uh, electronics is more and more pervasive. Uh, clearly, the macroeconomic situation does not help. No, indeed, <laughs> Carlo Bazzotti, we have to leave it there. I'm grateful to you, Carlo Bazzotti, so the CEO yeah. of ST Microsystems.